Hello again, I am Dr. Jerry Tan. I'm a Mayo Clinic trained endocrinologist. For today, let's talk about whether coffee a day is good for you or not. So I usually have a cup of coffee in the morning, mid-morning, as well as in my mid-afternoon snacks. Now, when a study came out in 1981 linking coffee to pancreatic cancer, uh, there was much controversy regarding the health benefits of coffee. Fortunately, the study was deemed flawed and therefore the results were dismissed. What we now know is that we have overwhelming evidence of a pretty convincing data that coffee has more healthful than harmful outcomes in terms of one's health. Now, in fact, moderate intake of coffee is linked to weight loss and a lower likelihood of type 2 diabetes, heart disease, liver and endometrial cancers, including Parkinson's disease and depression. In fact, people who drink coffee may even reduce the risk of mortality, though the results or the relationship is not yet clear why this happens. What we know is that to achieve these health benefits, for most people, moderate coffee consumption can be incorporated into a healthy diet. And what's moderate, it's approximately two to five cups a day. I usually only can take two cups a day. Now, coffee, as we know, contains caffeine that gives people the energy and keeps them alert throughout the day. Now, it binds to adenosine receptors, which normally makes you feel alert and reduces depressive effects. However, what we know is that the benefits of coffee is not simply from caffeine, because what we know is that the same reductions in diabetes and heart disease risk was associated with the intake of decaffeinated coffee, which means the benefits of coffee is not simply from caffeine. Though it can be tempting to assume that coffee's health benefits apply typically to a typical Starbucks drink, unfortunately, they don't. The experts often refer to coffee to its most basic form, which is drip coffee. So drinking regular coffee instead of those sugar-sweetened beverages or others like soda or juice, however, has positive effects on health. Coffee, in fact, may impart a number of health benefits over time, but not much is known about the effects first on children as well as the effects on pregnant women. But when it comes to coffee, Remember that what keeps one person up all night may hardly affect another slumber. Clearly, there's a complex relationship between genes and caffeine metabolism or how quickly the body processes caffeine. For now, it's best that we enjoy our cup of coffee for the pleasure it gives us. And of course, the health benefits are a bonus. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Stay safe. See you again soon.